I'm Davy, the joke's on you. Harleen was published in 2019. The creator, Stepan Sayyik, illustrates a dark but insightful take on the background story of well-known Joker psychic Harley Quinn. Professor, could you pick up the pace? Harley Quinn was first thought to be an ordinary villain psychic, but she soon gains popularity until she becomes one of the superheroes in Suicide Squad. Even though Harley did manage to save the world in Suicide Squad. But she does not quite fit the typical definition of a superhero. She lies in the gray area in between a hero and a villain. This comic is exceptional as its take on Harley Quinn's origin provides us an explanation of why Doctor Harley Quinzel is capable of becoming a supervillain and then a superhero. Harley was never meant to be a supervillain because everything she did is for Joker. She helplessly fell in love with Joker because Joker was the only one who made her feel needed. So she seeks more comforts from him. As her evil deeds were never for herself, this allows her future transition to a hero. In order to understand why she is able to transform from a villain to a hero, it is crucial to understand how she has become a supervillain in the first place. In this comic, the creator presents the readers the dark history of the making of the supervillain Harley Quinn, through the use of characterization, relationships between characters, and hidden messages that provokes reflections. The destined and inevitable transformation of Doctor Harley Quinzel is the result of a tragic backstory, toxic relationship with Joker, the product of the society. All these elements together have made this comic arguably the best Harley Quinn origin story, as it provides the explanation behind the redemption of Harley as a superhero. Girl's been hijacked. Shoot it down. In the story, Doctor Harley Quinzel seems destined to experience a transformation in the future, as it has foreshadowed throughout the comic. It is a subtle way to inform the readers about Harley's transformation. Like building a house, the creator slowly but steadily, brick by brick, prepares the readers for the final transformation at the end. There are multiple allusions throughout the comic, as shown in this picture. When Harleen first sets foot at Arkham, her shadow appears to be in the shape of her costume as Harley Quinn. This allusion to her future self implies that Harleen has begun her transformation as Harley Quinn by entering the gates of Arkham, suggesting the beginning of her way to hell. This picture takes place when Harvey Dent asks to meet with Harleen. In this scene, they had an argument as they could not agree with the other person's ideology. In the last frame, when they part, we can see the allusion to their future selves in the background, accompanied by Harley's narration. All of the big words, and moralizing, and yet within five months, we will both become murderers. This is another allusion to the future encounter, which is the key event that directly leads to Harley's transformation when she commits her first murder that has completely changed her. All these allusions appear in the first issue, before she meets the Joker. Apart from foreshadowing the future events, they also set an ominous and dark mood for the entire comic, accompanying her destined transformation to an evil villain. Other than these allusions, the creator also foreshadows her transformation through her unpleasant past. Harleen fell in love with her professor in college and had an affair with him. This was exposed, and Harleen was shamed for her entire college life. Her entire past life is summarized in the picture, and her treatment by the other are shown in the bottom frames. People from her college start to call her by Harley, implying that her existence is a joke. It is interesting to think about how later Harley embraces the name by accepting all her efforts and hard work for trying to help are just jokes. She realizes that all of her good intentions are just a joke, and this leads to a final transformation into Harley Quinn. 
People in her college also believe that she gets all her grades with her particular set of skills. It is implied that Harleen uses sex as a way of trading for things that she desires. With the use of past trauma, the creator has presented Harleen as someone who is prone to manipulation. Even though Harleen is socially marginalized and emotionally isolated, deep down, there are still parts of her that still wants to find someone who is willing to understand her and care for her. During her encounter with the Joker, there are multiple occasions where she receives compliments from the Joker. Joker tells her that he'd love to see her smile one day. To other people, they find it hard to trust Joker. Therefore, they will be very cautious with every single word spoken by him. At this point of the comic, Harleen blindly believes that she has somehow built trust and connected with Joker in some way. Due to her tragic past, Harleen has troubles trusting and connecting with others. When she decides to trust someone, in this case, Joker, she becomes oblivious to all the evidence that suggests something else. Harleen sees herself in Joker, someone who also has been hurt and needs another person to comfort his wounds. A person with a tragic past finds another person with a tragic past and they connect with each other, becoming each other's emotional support. This is a common trope that many creators use to design a character. The creator of this comic cleverly uses this trope to foreshadow her encounter with Joker in the future that would change her life forever. Unlike the unusual happy endings, this future encounter leads her directly into her transformation into Harley Quinn. Harleen's past might have enabled her to fall for Joker's trick, but her relationship with Joker is what truly accelerated her transformation and made her the Harley Quinn she is today. The relationship is best depicted in this picture. Harleen is drawn as the little red Redding Hood in all red, and Joker is implied to be the chained wolf drawn behind her. In the story of the little red Redding Hood, she was tricked by the wolf and was eaten by the wolf. However, she eventually survives and is saved. This reference to the well-known folklore alludes to the dangerous relationship that Harleen is entering with Joker. Her transformation into a supervillain is a bad start that enables her next transformation into a superhero. Just like the Little Red Riding Hood, Harleen will eventually be saved, but the suffering before being saved is unavoidable. Even though the wolf is chained, but it's clear to the readers that the chains will not be able to restrain the wolf. In the later page, which is shown in this picture, Harleen voluntarily unties the straight jacket, unleashing the wolf herself. On the surface, Harleen may be the person who made the active decision to enter an intimate relationship with Joker, but it's also clear that she has been manipulated into it. In this picture, we can see that Joker has bribed one of the guards to get his hands on all the information of Harleen's research. Before Harley officially begins to understand more about Joker, Joker has read her files and designed a character that perfectly fits the patient that Harley is looking for. Harley's research focuses on how the fight or flight response could potentially dampen one's ability to process empathy. This is further confirmed later on by Batman saying that Joker's taken almost word for word from her research. Right at the beginning, Joker has set up a trap, waiting for Harleen to jump in. Just as Batman described, he saw her as his ticket out of Arkham. All he had to do was make himself the perfect patient, the perfect validation of her work. In the end, Harleen's future has been determined since the day she sets foot into Arkham, making her transformation into Harley Quinn inevitable. In this comic, it uses the unique dual narration which makes the characterization of Harley Quinn detailed and multidimensional. The comic is drawn from Harleen's perspective before she becomes the notorious Harley Quinn. But the narration is given by the current Harley Quinn in a reminiscence of the past events. This way of narration is unprecedented from any other origin stories of Harley Quinn as others are usually told from a third-person perspective.
It allows the readers to witness her life story with detailed encounters and understand her as a person in a holistic point of view by providing two perspectives from two different points of the timeline of her life at the exact same time. In this way, the perspective given to the reader is not biased to either perspective. This intriguing way of narration makes Harleen arguably the best origin story of Harley Quinn. The unique style of narration has been utilized effectively throughout the entire comic. One of the best examples of this technique can be seen right at the start of the comic. The comic starts with the dream that Carly has dreamt about. In this picture, right at the start of the comic, the creator brings out the special speech bubbles to represent the inner dialogue of Harley Quinn. This speech bubble is smartly designed so that readers can identify it straight away without confusing it with other speech bubbles. At the start of every set of these speech bubbles, the creator uses symbols to represent Harley Quinn with a significant diamond pattern and her black and red color scheme. All the speech bubbles are colored with a red background to indicate the continuation of her inner thoughts. This choice of speech bubble is easy to spot, and it plays an important role of providing one of the dual narration through words. The other narration is shown through the image itself with powerful visuals. The words and images can be read separately, as both can be seen as a story on its own. But the interpretation of the dream will not match up exactly. For instance, the future Harley who has experienced the transformation will not necessarily see her encounter with Joker as something good. But the current Harling will see the encounter as the best thing she has ever had. By putting them together, the creator managed to show the difference in the way that Harley used to view this dream and how she views it now, giving the readers insight of the changes of the character of Harling. The importance of this dual narration can be seen in this picture, which at first glance, the images are potentially suggesting a happy ending. However, Harley's narration brutally revealed the truth behind calling it a trashy romance where a plain ordinary girl meets Mr. Tar sexy and dangerous. She points out this entire dream is her fantasy of being able to help Joker and save him. This contrast immediately informs the readers the character development that Harley will have in the future, demonstrating this unique way of storytelling that can only be achieved through dual narrations. The creator cleverly chooses this type of narrative style, which takes the readers on a vivid journey of Harleen's life, allowing the readers to be able to invest in the character of Harleen, so that they can further understand the cause of her later transformation to Harley Quinn. Lastly, the world setting of the comic also contributes enormously to making this comic iconic and memorable as it evokes critical thinking of the readers. The city of Gotham is unlike any other cities. There are superheroes and supervillains that both thrive in the city. All the crimes and justice get amplified by their existence. The questioning of the true weight of justice has been mentioned as an underlying theme throughout the entire comic. In this comic, there are two main ideologies on the matter of the treatment of the criminals. One believes that no matter how much evil deeds the criminal has done, they should not be executed as killing will make them cross the line of justice, making them one of the evils. Among people supporting this ideology, some believe in rehabilitation, but most do not. The other ideology believes that the execution of the evil criminals is necessary and is the only way to solve the never-ending crimes and injustice in the Gotham City. In Gotham City, everything gets amplified. The executioners are born as the product of the second ideology. In a comic, these two ideologies crash with each other, creating conflicts and violence. The creator purposely did not specify which ideology is better. It is up to the readers to decide, forcing the readers to reflect on this matter. There is no right or wrong in either ideology. They both start with the same good intentions, but they believe that it can only be achieved in their own ways. The difference in ideology has made the world that the story is set in a complicated one. It makes the readers question that whether Harleen's transformation into a villain is destined as the result of unsolvable conflicts. 
It is possible that because Harling's transformation into a villain is a product of the society, her later redemption as a hero becomes extremely meaningful as the representation of free will. The questions and thoughts that the comic provokes the readers makes the comic more insightful and meaningful, and arguably the best comic of Harley Quinn. Can I help you? Why, yes, yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. And what terrible crime is that? This one. In conclusion, the creator has created a piece of art that not only satisfies the basic criteria of a typical good story, but it also provides something that is deeper for the readers to reflect on. The use of the dual narration technique is incredibly unique and effective and it sets a good start for the comic. Throughout the entire comic, the characterization of Harding is consistent and continuous. Everything that has been shown in the comic serves a certain purpose, which makes the comic rich in content. The detailed and contents of Harding's past life give a detailed explanation of her transformation and justify it. Her relationship with Joker is also crucial and not to be ignored. Joker is probably the best reason and cause of the making of Harley Quinn the notorious sidekick that invents all the crazy crimes with him. The influence of Joker on her is undeniable, but all the craziness and injustice all tie back to the world setting, the Gotham City, where everything, both the evil and the good, gets amplified to the maximum, creating a feast of chaos. Spawn Sage's Harleen is a masterpiece that deserves to be read by every single Harley Quinn and DC fan. Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality.